Now, I like building with chisel and bits because it has little blocks and being a short king in real life, it makes me feel big and strong. Look how big I am next to that tiny birch block. It's also the reason that chickens really grind my gears because they're short and that's not okay. I'm the only one allowed to be short in my Minecraft world. Which is why I created this Minecraft world here where all the floor is made out of TNT. And oh look, a chicken. Don't you just hate it how it just swaggers on by? Oh, what's this Mr. Chicken? Is this a flint and steel? Oops. Oh. I think I might have killed it. Anyway, today I found a mod that is very similar to Chisel and Bits, but it is also very different. In fact, it has the potential to be superior. I'm gonna try it out and see if I can show you some cool stuff you can make with it. Now, the Little Tiles mod is a little bit more complicated than the Chisel and Bits mod. In the Chisel and Bits, you just get building. You select a block and you build with that block. Whereas in the Little Tiles mod, you can't actually select a block, you have to use one of these tools. However, some of these tools are pretty cool. Like, you can just paint blocks. For example, this stone block here, you can get the paintbrush tool. Press C and you bring up this and then you can choose a color. So let's go for a nice green maybe. Wait, how do we get green? There we go, very green. And then you just click on the block and you can paint it whatever color you want. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The only problem is you can't actually pick this up now. Instead, it just picks up a slab like this, which is kind of annoying. It won't rotate like in chisel and bits. You can also hammer away at blocks like you can in the normal chisel and bits mod. Build stuff out of it like so, but this tool you can only chip away at stuff with the hammer. You need a chisel to be able to actually set something. And you middle click using the chisel to select your block. Right click once and then you can do like a big plane with it. You can do this. You can select a sphere like so, and then make a big sphere, which would have been really useful when I was building my Disney castle. You can also do a wall. It does a big line and it does go diagonal as well, which would have also been very useful. You can even make a hollow cylinder like this. Look how cool that is. Really easy to create massive structures really quickly with this mod. But the thing I really like about this mod, the one main thing is you can make your own custom objects. So say I wanted to build something like a door. I could use a block like concrete. As you can see here, very nice looking door. I then grab this little recipe thing here, select the bottom corner down there, top corner, and it makes a little recipe as you can see here. Then I can go on here, select a door, go for axis door. Move this little green dot here by using these arrows to where I want the axis to be, like so. Select the speed of the door so I can go really slow, or you can go really quick. Let's go for about 10. That's not bad. Then I rename this orange door, click save. And now I'll have to use this little workbench here. Plop that in here, click craft and bam. In here, we now have our door. Let's build a little doorway quickly, as you can see there. Plop that in, just in the center, like so. And then from around this side, the door opens. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. And it actually works both ways as well, which is nice, you can come in and you can go out. Pretty awesome that you can just make doors like this. And you can actually do this for all sizes. You can make huge doors like this. Oh, this one just keeps turning, that's weird. You can make it so it's fixed and will only turn one way. Yeah, there you go, like that, like a normal door. And they work as well, like they'll interact with you. Look at that, they'll push you away and stuff. Very cool. But it's not only doors. So I made this basic chest of drawers here, as you can see, pretty weird looking. Not amazing. So I'm gonna fill this thing inside with this little storage block, as you can see here. Cover this up like so. Then I'm gonna grab this advanced recipe here. Click up here, click down here. Turn it into a storage block. And wow, that's quite a lot of space. Let me see if this works. Test, save, and it turns it into a chest. Look at that, and put stuff inside it. And it's even got a sort button. Obviously this is my first time using it. I'm not sure how it would work to fill up these final five bits. But that's pretty interesting that you can just make your own storage blocks. I've made a terrible chair here, but once again, you can turn it into an actual chair. Plop it down there, and then you can sit on it like so. It looks really bad, but that's because I made it in about 10 seconds. But you can see what I'm getting for. You can make your own chairs. And the best thing about this is you can apparently combine it with chisel and bits. Let's see if we can get them both working. Okay, so let's just make a door out of chisel and bits here. This is completely the chisel and bits mod. I just really prefer building with this mod because I kind of know it already. So I'm used to what you can do with it. Saying that, 
is not the best looking door. I'm not used to building doors, but let's switch to the little tiles mod, get this advanced recipe thing. As you can see, it says chisel and bits blocks here. Click save. There we go, set all our axis point and stuff. And I've done it wrong. That's not meant to happen. Oops. You see, I've got a little Christmas reef on there for Christmas time. Open it up, works like a normal door. So we're gonna combine these two mods. I'm gonna try and build a house specifically for this new mod to see if I can test out some of the features it has. Let's give it a good go. So I found this picture of a cool house on Google Images and I tried to recreate it in Minecraft, but a little bit more Minecrafty as you can see here. And at this point it's all chisel and bits, but I had an idea. As we're just basically on vanilla apart from these two mods, I wanted to make a different color window. So the little tiles mod also includes all these blocks here and now we have a chisel and bits version of the model. So if I use gray on this, like so, we can make a sort of custom color, which looks pretty good. And I'll save that paintbrush for later. Made our own sort of custom sort of windowsill. Now these aren't any ordinary windows. I made some custom windows which actually open. Yes, you heard it right. You can see it here. They're a bit glitchy in the replay mod, but when I cut to showing you what it actually looks like, you'll see what I mean. And I made these windows entirely using the chisel and bits mod, and then I just used the little tiles mod to animate them, which is what I'm really using the little tiles mod for. Although a bit later, I might use it in a different way. So here's what I'm talking about. These windows all work and open. Look at this. So these ones here, they open upwards. No matter if you're inside or outside, you just right click them, they open up to the outside world. How blooming cool is that? All of them open as well, if you look here. And then these ones open a bit differently. These open like doors, but you can see out to the open world. Air out your house. So you can open all the windows to your house at once. Look at that, that's so cool, I love it. All right, let's get building the rest of this house. And then I spent nearly an hour building this roof here. However, this bit you're seeing right here, the lattice bit, I actually used the little tiles mod. It doesn't look like that. There's something about the little tiles mod and the replay mod that just doesn't work very well together. So I'll show you how it looks like afterwards. And I got thinking, could I make a roof window? I gave it a shot. And the answer is yes, you can make a roof window and I will show you what it looks like right about now. So as you can see, a pretty detailed roof. We just used cracked stone bricks texture there, as you can see inside looking pretty nice. So here you have the sky window on the roof. You can open it like that and then you can look out like, oh, hey, how's it going world? Close it again. Or you can open it the other way as well. And very unique and pretty cool that it opens as well. You can open it from all the way down here. So now I'm going to add in some stuff inside of this place as well as some doors. Let's start by making the inside just look a little bit nicer. So you may notice nighttime has set on the house. Well, I'll show you why in a second. But first, let's start off with the main area of our house here. In through the door we head, we've got a very basic sort of starter area here. Now in this room are two furnaces a chest and a crafting table. But it's not very obvious, is it? Well, that's because the furnaces are hidden here, as so. These all work. You can smelt some stuff in this if you want to. Shut that after you're done. Very nice. And then we got a chest here, like so. But where's the crafting table? Aha, here it is. And yes, it works. You can craft stuff on there. Very nice. We also have this table and chairs here, which I designed myself. Very basic but it works. You sit down on these chairs, you eat some food at the table. Lovely. And finally, we have a new room here as well. Obviously, this is the bedroom. It needs to have a locked door on it, which opens like so. Made this custom door here. It's okay, it's not the best work I've ever done. And inside, we have a bed. We've got a chest of drawers as well. This bed actually works like a bed. You can sleep in this and it will turn it to day. It works like a normal Minecraft bed. We've also got the chest of drawers as well, which works like a chest of drawers. I'm still trying to figure out how the spaces thing works. I think I'll just get better with that at time. And then finally over here, we have a wardrobe as well. You open up the wardrobe and inside are your clothes. You've got like a t-shirt, you've got another t-shirt and some trousers hanging up and you can actually take them out. You can grab them from here. This works as a storage device. You can actually set the storage blocks as invisible blocks. So it's really cool. Can have some really unique things for storage. I really like that. Shut that. 
nice, all our clothes are away. And this is just my first time using this mod. I'm really excited to see what I can build in the future because this is really basic. I've just been experimenting, testing this stuff out. And it's really fun just figuring out what you can do with this mod. I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments will have some really good ideas for things I could build with this. If you do actually have any ideas, please let me know in those comments down below as I'm curious to see what you think I could do with this. But this was just a little video showing you off what this mod could do. Obviously, in the future, I'm hoping to use this mod with maybe my other mods that I use to get some more unique blocks and styles and things I can build. But for now, this is just a bit basic. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment. If you've got any ideas for videos, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.